All right, today we are going to the uh, Mount Shasta Mine Loop. And uh, got a got a few extra critters here with me today. I've got my granddaughter, Cameron. I'm not a critter. Oh, well, <laughs> okay, a human being. <laughs> and then uh, we've got Lockett. Hey, Lockett. <whistles> and then of course, Calamity Jane. And she is all excited because we got extra people with us. along here have we seen any mines yet no no this is where an area where the car fire has gone through and so even it's devastation but still a lot of green brush coming up and I see some uh, trees right here uh, some pine trees that are starting to grow up one of them is goodness about five feet tall or so so I almost trip and fall <laughs> And man, in like five years, it's just gonna be so beautiful. Yeah, so I always like it. I, it seems like I talk about it every time I go through a burn area. You see the signs of new life and it always reminds me of the Lord and how he restores us and brings back new life. And uh, this is no different. Even after the enemy comes in to bring destruction, Jesus comes in to bring life and that more abundantly. So an awesome thing, an awesome thing. So we're a little over a half a mile in. It's the first part of the trail, pretty easy. Nothing steep, nothing too difficult. Uh, still going through a lot of burned areas and I think the majority of the trail will be like this. Dogs are having fun. The and the sun uh, is blaring down on us. So is that creature, huh? I said the sun is blaring down on us. I know, it's almost like on today, um, I saw it was like 68 degrees. It almost feels like it could be wearing some shorts or something out here. I asked Cameron if she brought her bathing suit because there, there might be a stream or a pool to go swimming in, but nope. I was not forewarned that was, there was gonna be a need for one. <laughs> So we're about uh, one and a quarter miles in here and we've stopped at what is a mine shaft and local historian, my granddaughter Cameron, she knows some about this. What, what can you tell us about this? Uh, that about 90 people worked here, lock it off. <laughs> about 90 people worked here when it was in its prime heyday. They made about $5.5 million off of it, and then eventually when it cost more to run than they were making from mining, they shut it down. 
shut it down. So what year did they shut it down? Do you know by any chance? Or? I don't know. I would have to look at this piece of information. Oh, there's saw. information on that? <laughs> oh. that okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Huh. I'm, I am smart, but not right. about Let's see if it can tell us here. Uh, 1915. So over 100, that'd be what, 108 years? About 108 years since they've mined here. Uh, I've driven by this area for years, you know, around Whiskey Town Lake, and you would never know that there was a, a place like this um, where uh, a number of men and, and women uh, were working here, were mining these places, were, you know, making a living, and it was a dangerous thing for them to do back in the day. But pretty cool spot just to stop, uh, get a little uh, refreshment, and uh, then we're going to move on. It's a hot day. I, I'm looking for a cool spot. One of the things I wanted to mention is that it's Super Bowl Sunday. And Cameron and I are going to put a dollar bet on the game. Go Chiefs! So I, I take it she's taking the Chiefs. Kansas City, baby. Kansas City. This is one of the things that I think is really cool. You get in a place, devastation all around us, and yet uh, the goodness of God's life continues to flow through. This water eventually is going to go all the way down into Clear Creek and the Sacramento River. It's going to help supply water for the farmers and for the people. <laughs> it's uh, just, just wonderful being up here in the mountains and and being able to see something like this. I wish the dogs liked the water. All right, as I'm huffing and puffing up the hill here, uh, it's pretty steep. After you get to that water spot, you kind of see the canyon down there behind us. Uh, but it's so nice being able to hear that stream. I, I'm telling you, I should have brought my bathing suit. Would have been a good day. Okay, so we came across another mine shaft here and uh, it's telling us to stay out and stay alive. Of course. Which means we should go in. Right. right. And Cameron did go in. She kind of squeezed over the top of the gate here. Oh, yeah. yeah, right over there. And then I said, Cameron, there's a sign and it says stay out. It said so. that there's dangerous mine shaft and dangerous and I told her there's dangerous gases and she said oh have you been in here before granddad <laughs> so I might have a few less brain cells yeah as long as you just follow me maybe I'll let you lead the trail be more adventurous <sighs> let's finish this trail yeah well let's see it's nice and cool here anyway So once you leave the canyon, which you can see behind me there, 
it's gonna wind up being about three quarters of a mile of a hike up. Maybe not quite that far, but it does seem like, especially if you haven't been here before, like, is it ever going to end? <laughs> but even Mount Everest has a peak. So, you know, it's gotta stop at some point in time. All right, we finally made it really to the top of the trail back behind us over here, Whiskey Town Lake. From this point, and we're at 2.84 miles, so we've got about four tenths of a mile to go to get all the way back down to the parking lot. And I know from experience, it's downhill all the way and, and somewhat of a straight, steeper downhill. But oh, just beautiful up here to be able to be on this a peak right here where we're at right now and I'm just reminded of all the times I was with my dad and we were out hunting or fishing or even hiking and we'd get to a spot like this and he would just pause for a moment and he would talk about the goodness of God and all about God's creation and how blessed we are to be able to enjoy all of that and you know I've never lost sight of that uh well maybe for a season here or there I haven't thought about it a lot, but when I get out here, I think about it all the time. The goodness of God. The Word of God tells us in Romans 1 and 20 that He reveals Himself through His creation. And so when I look around, I just ask, God, what are you showing me through the trees and through the new growth? What are you showing me about yourself in the mountain or in the stream? And it's amazing how he, he comes up with something, something comes to mind every time, whether it has to do with new life or just the 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 magnitude the magnificence of almighty god so one of the things though that's been a joy today as you have seen i've had my beautiful granddaughter with me on the trail and uh well i've been huffing and puffing and sweating she's been like just cruising up the trail it's like <laughs> you know if we were riding bikes i'd be on a regular bike she she'd be on an electric bike <laughs> but uh cameron we get out in places like this tell me what does that do for you it does my soul well. Boom. You get up in places like this, uh, tell me, what does it do for you? It makes my heart happy. Yeah. Oh, it does my soul well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Retake that. Redo that.